want to read this PDA on my way back. Altera misplaces one kilometer capital ship Aurora. Oh, this is ominous. Oh, that's so ominous. I hate this. No, no, no. That is the most uncomfortable I've ever felt in a video game before. Ooh, architect body cache. It's all the way down there. I have a confession to make to all of you. I have been really, really stupid. So you know how in one of the first episodes that I did on this game, I went to that one island and I like explored around a bit there and then I didn't do anything with it. Well, apparently at the back of that island is a lot of story to be found. And I just didn't trigger it. And hello everyone, this is Aspect here. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. This might actually be a little bit of a longer episode because I want to get a lot done today. We already have a base, we already have a lot of cool things, but there is so much more for us to do. Alright, welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Welcome back to our beautiful base. So in today's episode, I'm going to get into my sea truck and I'm not gonna waste any time. I have been extremely silly by not knowing about this thing and I need to make up for my mistakes. The problem I have with Subnautica below zero uh well not with the game but like with myself playing it is that recently i actually re-watched some of my subnautica below zero episodes to kind of see what i can improve and things like that and i've been noticing that i'm making like baby progress in each episode that needs to stop so i might actually just make these episodes longer again and just do more in each episode because i don't want this to be like a 44 part series also i've never actually checked out these outposts that i've seen everywhere so i might actually do that so what do we got a mineral detector fragment wait what the hell is that using a complex blend of electromagnetic field transmission and beta decay detection, the mineral detector is capable of identifying nearby resources and approximating distance, so we can find resources much quicker with that thing. We got a supply crate, we got a flare, and a nutrient block, which is pretty good. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here, though. Since I feel a little bit safer about exploring now that I have my sea truck, I might actually just look around here, see if I can find anything cool. Nothing yet, though. It looks like I just got into the biome with all these cryptosuchuses and whatnot, which, as we found out in in the last episode don't really care about the sea truck which is a good thing i'm still gonna try to sw swim around them oh no 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 yeah see like he doesn't mind unless these guys are actually blind but i don't think that's the case wait what the hell am i hearing oh my god hi 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 um i remember you being dangerous okay that is something i did Th those red dudes from what i remember you need to watch out for those Do you fucking mind, chompers? Oh my god, okay, so they do attack you sometimes if you swim close enough. Detecting stern of an astronautical salt transco vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Oh. Inoperative. Oh, is this another ship or like another part of a ship that I need to explore? Let me just quickly have a look inside. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one where I've already been. Oh, no, never mind. I've not been here. There is a laser cutter fragment, which is pretty useful because I need that. Yes, the last laser cutter fragment. Beautiful. Now, what do I need to build this? Laser cutter, diamond, battery, titanium, crystal, and so forth. I have that. Yeah, you need a laser cutter to get into, like, most of the places here. There's also just random copper wire, I'll take that. I'm not gonna pick up the metal salvage, because I don't really care about that. All right, well, that was fun. Let's get back into the sea truck and continue. Whoa, what the hell is this place? Look at this. What the hell did I just find? Oh, oh shit, oh shit, hi. What are you doing here? No, 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 no. They can do that? I just lost all my power. Help. Okay. I'm I have something important to share. Another okay. artifact. Yes. Although You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Whoa, what the hell is this? Whoa, what are you? Is that a glow whale? I've seen them before. I think that's a glow whale, although he is spacing the fuck out. I gotta beware of these whale sharks though, or whatever they're called. I'm still not sure. Oh fuck, there's some right here. Their mouth is so fucking creepy. Why are they around here? I thought they were only down in that other shithole. Okay, this is something where I'm not supposed to. Bow of an astronautical salt trans oh, vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. This is... Inoperative. Okay, yeah, this is the other part of that same ship. I know that I said that I was gonna go after the story, but I didn't expect to find this. Ooh, there's a prawn suit fragment over here. Wait, hold on. Why is there just a straight-up prawn suit fragment chilling there? Let me repair my vehicle first. Straight-up prawn suit fragment. What the hell is that doing here? Well, now I can build the prawn suit. That's awesome. What do I need for it? Prawn suit. Plastic link at power cell, enamel glass, and computer chip. Enamel glass is lead diamond and, gl uh, lead diamond and glass. Okay, so I can easily make that now. 
now. Bronze drill arm. I completely forgot that I need those. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell are you? Whoa, look at these things. What is this? That's so cool. I have no idea what those are. This area is like... I've never seen this before. It's so pretty. Look at the colors. All right, here we go. Back at the island where we were before, where apparently I missed a whole bunch of shit. Here we go. So apparently this island with this tower on it, there's a lot more here than I know. Apparently there's a base on this island. That's about all I know. I know that there's a base here and I need to find it. Not only for the sake of the story, but also because if there's a base, that means that I can hopefully get a multi-purpose room out of that and use it for my own base. Whoa! What did I just find? Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. We got an ion cube. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. What? I will provide a signal. Wait, hold on. Ooh, architect body cache. It's all the way down there. Okay, so that's something that we gotta go find. I got you. See, I told you we had to come back to this island. Because I had no idea this was here and I would not have known of this. <laughs> Out of Hello. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Is that so? Wait! Who are you? That prancy looks Stay insane. Off my land. That wait, that's Margaret! I recognize that voice. That's Margaret from the first game. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. Okay, what does that mean? I hope you will avoid contact with the woman in the exosuit. <laughs> I am among the last of a dying civilization. If you were to compromise your well-being, the species could go extinct. Cool. What makes this is the base. Hostile anyway. A little grumpy maybe, but who wouldn't be stranded out here alone? She did not respond to my distress call. And she is well armed. Maybe she's afraid of us. I have no desire to find out. Yeah, that's a fair point. We got a multi-purpose room. We got a jukebox fragment, but I already have a whole jukebox. We got an Altera PDA. Let's read this. Time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies, and if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Uh, what? Alien intruder, more like alien cheater. I am so confused. I have no idea what this is talking about. So was one of them sick and they think that they're gonna turn into an alien? Is that what's ha- I'm so confused. We have a first aid kit though, and large filtered water. All right, let me just drink some of these then, and get this. Got a coffee machine, a nutrium block, a single wall sh wall shelf that we can scan. This is all stuff we can use for base. Altera facilities map. Wait, what? A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. Where exactly is Fire Robotics? And where are we? Like, which one of these is Delta Station? I don't understand. Is that Delta Station? Whoa, 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 look at this. Wait, I didn't even see this before. There's an extra room. There's posters. There's a- wait, is this a bed I can scan? Fred's bed. Oh, all these people lived here. I- I'm only just realizing now. Another PDA. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. This is only a long one. Sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. <laughs> Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. Aren't we but all? But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. <laughs> He's not even using there it for its purpose. There have been some close scrapes, 
For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. Huh? But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. Okay, now I'm interested. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? Hmm. I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite. <laughs> yeah, imagine bringing back a fish as a gift. I don't think that's gonna work, buddy. Wall shelves. These are all cosmetics we can use. A damaged modification that Wait, are these fragments for the mo uh, for the modification station? It just gave me the whole modification station. All I need is diamond lead and the computer chip. That's not hard to get. Jeremiah's bed. Okay. But why would I be able to scan two of these? We got another PDA. Tower maintenance lock. Wait, what's another this? Day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. Oh god. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. Hmm. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Wait, that tower is on? So maybe we can get to the tower after all. Wait, there's something over here. What is this? A scanner room. Yes, it's in the game. I was actually not certain if the scanner room is still in the game or not, but it is. Awesome. Now we can make our base look a lot cooler. Wait, there's a second one here. I thought this was the same one. A manual... This is this is where Emmanuel was. Oh wait, I just realized Emmanuel is the other dude. I thought for some reason when it said Emmanuel, I thought of Fred. Emmanuel was the, the dickhead. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Maybe I can find clues about Sam here. Okay, well let's start with scanning the bed. Maybe the scanner will tell us if they slept together. Altera PDA. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero. Helping us dream of future initiatives. So they were proud of her. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work. And I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Really? They're out here surviving and all they think about Sam is money? Really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. Yeah, but then what I don't understand is why did they like... Because clearly somehow Altera is involved in Sam's death. That's like pretty clear now. But what I don't understand is like... I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. Also, we got a observatory. Another PDA. Got You'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well-suited to isolated planets. <laughs> I miss you, of course. But I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Oh, wow. Just look Jesus. at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but... I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, That's like what nothing. do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for Wait. us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. So let's see, is there something down here for me to worth going towards? Doesn't look like it. But we can, however, get up to this tower, which I will do just for a second. Just in case, I just need to double check that there's nothing here that I'm missing. Like this PDA, for example, tower what's this? Maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. <laughs> I'm gonna need to re 
wire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status? In progress. Can I do something here? Status reports. Surveillance status report. Sector Zero region scan. Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habitat construction and vehicular activity de uh, detected. Recommendation, observe and prepare for possible intervention. So I'm, I'm assuming that's talking about me and Margaret, right? Ooh, got another PDA, what is this? Operating manual, new employee training. It is recommended that all training be completed while the tower is in test mode. Test mode is fully functional, simulated version of live mode. While in test mode, all communications from the tower, including distress signals, security alerts, and spy transmissions will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module into the diagnostic port uh, as depicted in the diagram to the left. The activate test mode command may be entered via the terminal once the test override module has been inserted. Looks like there's absolutely nothing else, so I'm pretty sure this is everything you can do on this island. Ooh, Ellen, what do you want? Humans function with such a fallible and inferior body. Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yeah. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. Yeah. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is arrogant. My That's... body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. Mm -hmm. We build for the next generation. Basically, yeah. But again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? <laughs> to see the forms of my people again. So it's almost like these precursors are more... Well, I don't want to say selfish, but kind of, yeah. Why is there no, like, speed upgrade for the sea truck that you can make? That's something that we need. Or maybe some sort of, like, capacity update. So, uh, or upgrade. So that it still swims faster while having a lot of modules. Because the more modules you have, the slower it... Uh, swims which makes sense, but I just wish there was an upgrade for it for gameplay reasons because it gets incredibly boring to have Oh, hello, Ellen. You do not trust Altera. No. No. Neither do you. But your sister was Alteran. My sister was my sister. She worked for Alteran. Alteran. People do not perceive a difference. We are what we work for. That's well, you're dense. Sam wasn't. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings like I knew they'd do to mine. I tried to warn her, and she was stubborn, just like me. Damn. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier, faster, way less play by the rules. Was Sam working in the best interest of all time? Yes, but they definitely didn't think so. We believe that individuals may operate in the best interest of the collective, or against the best interest of the collective. There is no in-between to us. So you always saw eye to eye on absolutely everything with your network? No. I sense there's more to this story. And more to your sister's story as well. That's fine. Change the subject. We'll come back to it later. Interesting. So basically they both want to find out more about each other's stories, but it's almost like our character Robin and Alan, they're together. But it's almost like they don't 100% trust each other. Okay, now comes the time that we need to do a lot. I think right now I want to start building some more in the base. Because I can build like a scanner room, a multi-purpose room, an observatory. The thing is, I know you can get a large multi-purpose room. Which is preferably what I would have on this side. But I'll see if I can maybe put like a multi-purpose room or a scanner room like on this side. And then just wait with the other things. Now where do we put this thing? We can put it here. Which is not ideal. I think I'm going to put it over here because that makes the most sense and it's also pretty much the only free spot that i have considering i'm likely gonna put something over here i'm gonna get, get rid of that poster actually but it's very likely that i'm gonna put something on this side so there's gonna be a passageway here okay let's see oh here we go and now i can like color correct it and everything so let's make it red stripes get to be white name gets to be black c drone c drone is a pretty good name i like that one okay let me just quickly test out this theory so if i connect this module to this one do they align in color 
color. Yes, they do. That makes no sense gameplay wise, but whatever. I'm hoping we can put it over here, but we cannot. Actually, maybe I can fix that. Let me try this. If I put a bunch of these compartments next to each other. Oh, shit. So the idea I had is that if we put a bunch of these compartments next to each other, maybe we can bypass this? Oh, no, we cannot, because these things are in the way. And I can't break them either, because I think that used to be an option to, like, terraform... What did I just get? Bullseye shroom piece. Wait, these are fruits. I didn't even realize. But yeah, in, uh, like, very early versions of the original Subnautica, you used to be able to, like, terraform a land, but then they took that out of the game because it started to fuck with the optimization. And the game ran like ass, so that's why they got rid of it. But maybe if I just put one of these here and then do this, would that work? Yes, that does work. A scanner room will allow you to survey the surrounding region for fragments and material resources sources like lithium or copper oh i know or titanium if you need help finding it for whatever reason <laughs> all right so what can we actually search for we can search for a bunch of outcrops galena outcrops crystalline sulfur is apparently around here a root postule i don't even know what that is what i need to do next is i need to build myself a modification station so that's a computer chip titanium diamond and lead i should have that so where can i put this thing can i put it over here Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Can I just connect something else to this room? Like if I put a, uh, this here. Oh, I can! That's why it's built like that. I didn't realize that at first. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna put a multi-purpose room right over here. Wait, there's a PDA here. What the hell? I want to read this PDA on my way back. Altera misplaces one kilometer capital ship Aurora. Contact has been lost with the Auroras some 18 months into its journey to install a phase gate into the Ariadne arm. Report insider sources. Altera launched the Aurora to much fanfare almost two years ago and recently announced the ship had arrived in the destination solar system. The Aurora has reportedly now missed more than one routine check-in. Asked for a comment, a spokesperson for Altera said, communication with ships outside the phase gate network can take weeks or months uh, in ordinary circumstances, and is commonly interrupted. The Aurora was in good shape and ahead of schedule the last time they checked in. We have no reason to think anything has changed. Nonetheless, our resources emphasize that Altera cannot yet explain the loss of contact, and given the exceptional value of the ship and its mission, they are taking every possible measure to re-establish contact. Shareholders will be watching closely. Keen readers will remember, however, that Altera's network of directors have a history of leaking scare stories, like this to the press only for the trans gulf to rebound with positive news against the odds. Directors' shareholdings and dealings are of course not public information. So that's talking about the Aurora when it crashed on 4546B. That's a reference to the original game. That's actually so cool that they like keep referencing that. That's basically like the game's way of telling you, if you have not played the original Subnautica, what the hell are you doing here? Go and play that. So let's finish building this multi-purpose room. There we go. And I hope I still have enough titanium for the other thing that I wanted to build. So let's see, I'm gonna put the modification station here. This is probably a good place for it. Now let's open it. What can I make? I can make a thermal blade. I should probably do that. Sea truck depth upgrade mark 2. That's something that I need. Wait, Bruh. you can get kyanite in this game? Anyway, we need ruby enameled glass and synthetic fibers. Let's do this. I'm probably gonna end up moving the lockers over to that area so that I have everything in one place. So let's see. Ruby I have. Enameled glass. What do you need for enameled glass? Uh, let's make a piece of glass. There we go. And then we need to make an enameled glass. And then we need to figure out how you make synthetic fibers fibers, because I'm actually not too sure. So synthetic fi- what the fuck? A spiral plant clipping. What in the- what even is that? So apparently, they can be found inside the vent gardens, which are these things. I am picking up a signature of an important item belonging to my people. I will share its location. What is that? Which one is that? There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Cool. Yeah, there's three now. There's Architect Artifact PK-8. There's Architect Artifact Z-13, which is 2,000 meters away, by the way. And then there's the body cache almost directly underneath us. Whoa, 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 um, those things are dangerous. I'm just gonna gently go around. Vent Garden, there we go. Okay, apparently you can find these spiral shits on the vent gardens. How do you do that? Don't fucking ask me. Okay, now let's just be very, very careful. Juvenile Vent Garden, there we go. I'm assuming it doesn't matter that it's a juvenile. Actually, it might. Okay, I'm kind of confused. I can't get inside of them. So how am I supposed to get the spiral thing? 
things. Ooh, that is a big one. So maybe it does matter if it's a juvenile or not. Let me just swim over to that one real quick. Because apparently these like spiral, let me check what they are again. Spiral plant clipping. Apparently the, uh, they grow inside of vent gardens. But the problem is I can't really get to them. So I think what I have to do is somehow get in through the underneath. Which is gonna be risky if I don't get a first try. So can I somehow... Oh, you can go in! Oh, this is ominous. Oh, that's so ominous. I hate this. No, no, no. I'm going back out for oxygen reasons. Oh my god, that, that felt so uncomfortable. I hate that. That is the most uncomfortable I've ever felt in a video game before. The sound just cuts because it's like a vacuum. That is fucking disturbing. Oh, I hate that so much. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to bring my sea truck out here. It's a bit risky doing this, but hopefully it'll be fine. I just got to go in and find those things. That's all I need to do. I'm actually going to save my game here in case I do anything wrong. Okay, let's do this. Oh, this is so uncomfortable. Oh, oh, the sound just cuts. Oh, I hate this. Spiral plants. Yes! This is precisely what I need. I'm gonna take as many of these as I can. Oh, I hate this vacuum. It's literally like you're inside of somebody or something. Oh, it's so disturbing because that is the only source of sound. It's literally a vacuum. That, that has to be like one of the coolest fucking creatures Subnautica has ever seen. The creatures in this game are legit like next level. Because in the original Subnautica, there were already some pretty cool creatures, but there wasn't anything super interesting. We had the crab squids in the original game, which were pretty freaking cool they made really cool sounds but there wasn't anything like super fancy like this in this game there's so many more and they're so much more creative as well because in the original we kind of just had like you know a couple predators and, the, uh, and like creatures that would just attack you and it was kind of obvious in the original that like almost every creature you run into will attack you however in this game i found that it's kind of like a 50 50 really not that much in this game attacks you i mean there are some things we have like the cryptosuchus we have that big red dude whatever he's called the squid shark the brood shark and the leviathans but then there's also leviathans like these these are really cool wait i just realized i can also build the prawn suit now can't i what do i need for the prawn suit plasteel ingot and a computer chip that's piss easy in that case what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make the things that i want to make and then i'm gonna leave the uh, the episode here and then the next one we're gonna go and explore all the things that we have gained access to in this episode i suppose so all these things so the architect's body cache architect artifact pk8 uh, architect artifact z13 the last known position we also need to check that out that's all stuff we're gonna worry about in the next episode so i think that i've done about enough for this episode but there is one more thing that i want to do if we go into our vehicle bay i can make a prawn suit so i'm gonna do that i don't think i can use the prawn suit for anything just yet considering it's kind of slow but the good thing about it is the prawn suit in the last game started at 900 meters crushing depth so i need to check if that is still the case Okay, they actually reduced it to 400. Well, I think I'm just gonna leave the episode here. I've done way more than enough for this episode. I've been recording for almost three hours. In the next episode, we have a lot to do. Not only am I gonna try to build on my base some more, I think I'm gonna put a second moon pool here instead for the prawn suit. So we're gonna have a second moon pool here and then a large multi-purpose room like behind it. But either way, this is where I'm gonna leave this video. And of course, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to let me know with a like rating. And if, and if you're doing it here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. Thank you so much for this video of course hope you guys did enjoy and i will of course see you in the next one peace